Trigger warning. Trigger warning. This is an introspective video featuring an individual which we will refer to as Melissa. She is homeless, she may or may not be addicted, and she is a resident of the streets. In this video, we seek to understand, we seek to learn, and we seek to better the lives of our fellow citizens. Thank you. All right, I'm here with Melissa. We're in Hartford, and this is, this is our interview. Melissa, how are you doing today? I'm okay. You okay? Yeah, and tell me a little bit about your background. Uh, what brought you to Hartford, and how long have you been, or what brought you to Hartford? Uh, I was born in Hartford at St. Saint, Saint Francis. Okay. Back in 1985. I moved out for a little bit and uh, came back the first time when I was 16. I came back and I was homeless. Moved out, came back again. It was like my fifth time being back in, in uh, Hartford. Fifth time being back in Hartford? Okay. And um, do you have family? Um, no, I don't, I don't, um, have it, anybody here in, in Connecticut alone. I only have my father and my siblings, but they're, they're not around my okay. you, you only have your father and your siblings? Yes. But they're not around? No. Do they know about your situation? Um... They know that I'm out here. They don't know the full extent. Have you tried reaching out to them? No. No? What would you say is one of the things holding you back? Uh, I just don't want to go try to try to talk to them. I don't know. They know that I'm out, out here. If they wanted something to do it with me or ask me questions, they know where to find me. But uh, do you think that they're worried about you? Yeah. 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 Uh, do, you, do you think that it would be good to maybe connect in the future? Uh, yeah, when I eventually go, go get into a program or something. And I, I can tell that it's, uh, it's emotionally Emotional. This is very emotional uh, for yourself, and I can I can empathize with your situation because uh, here you are, you're, you're a young woman out here, and you're doing the best that you can to live. But um, where do you see yourself in a few years? Hopefully not here. I I would like to go into a program and get some help because um, I have a lot of talent, you know. Yeah. I'm just letting it waste away. Tell me about your talent. Oh, I'm I'm a I'm a mason. You're a mason. Like I lay I lay brick. I I went to school for it. That's good. Not like a Freemason trying to take no. over the world, right? <laughs> okay. So, okay. So you you lay brick. You know how to build. You know how to like probably some of the buildings around us. You could uh, um, at least have a hand in in building something like that and, and maintaining. Mm -hmm. So you have a skill and and a talent. Uh, how did you learn how to do that? Um, I was in a halfway house. Okay. So, as part of rehabilitation, they, they taught you how to, how to lay brick and be a mason and, mm -hmm. and to do things like that. Do you think that the state has helped you? Uh, or do you think that they could reach out more I don't, I don't feel like they, they've helped. We, we were told um, one time being in a, in a, in a soup kitchen uh, about four and a half, five years ago, 
that the the city of Hartford got like millions of dollars to help with the homeless and there's still so many people out here so many people that go hungry every day you know so many people that are at risk for a lot of fucked up shit so it's like what did Hartford really do with that money that was supposed to help I think Connecticut's a bunch of bull crap. Do you think that they spent that money the right way? Or do you think that there was... There was something going on. They put it in their pockets to go on vacation or something. <laughs> you know? Or they're using it for different projects. Who really knows? Okay, so you feel like they're not using it as it was meant to be used. Now, I'll ask you, what do you think they can do better? Ah, uh, I don't. Uh, do you think that they can they can reach out more, or that they can talk to you guys to get your opinion on things? Do you think there's a communication? Yeah, I don't think. They, I don't think they really reach out. You know, like, I ran into somebody the other day, and he got uh, evicted. He said he's gone to a lot of different programs and organizations around that the Internet said will, will help them, and everybody just closed the door on them. Mm. They just closed the door on them. Oh my god. So now that's another homeless person. So, uh, what is it like being a female out here in the streets? Uh, homeless, I have to imagine there's some danger. Yeah, a lot of these men around here don't care. They'll put their hands on a female. Really? So you're saying that there's men out here that are like, they act aggressive, that they're. They, like, they're. they're they're so mad within themselves that they don't have whatever it is that they want, whatever their their drug of choice or alcohol, I don't know. They get so angry and I I mean I've been a victim of it. I've watched it happen. They will put their hands on a female who's done nothing wrong to them. Wow. That just means that they're a little bitch. Yeah. That's that's true. That's what I would say as well. I'd like to see them try that with someone their size and see what happens. Now, now, what's what's one of the like? Have you ever seen anything dangerous out here? Like speaking on people putting their hands on each other. Have you seen anything like? A risk, risk to life out here. Yeah, I've seen females get kidnapped. Kidnapped? And you've seen that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it was a danger to myself because I witnessed it. And I felt like they were going to come back, come back for me. 